This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Looking specifically at Final Cut Pro, Das asks, what is a smart collection? Can it be applied to a library and cover everything in it? And a smart collection is really just a saved search. It has a fancy name, which is Smart Collection, but all it is is a saved search. Let me show you how it works. Here I have a project inside Final Cut. This is footage I took from New Zealand, which is just a whole lot more fun than taking pictures of traffic. And as I look at the different events I have here, I have a Milford Sound video here. I've got, let's see, Milford and Mount Cook video. Lake Takapo and Mount Cook. Wait a minute. I've got Mount Cook spread across all three of these bins. <sighs> well, if I want to find all of my Mount Cook footage, I click the, the magnifying glass and type in Cook. And notice that I can either look for a single bin or I can select the library and I can see all the footage that I have regardless of what bin that it's in. Notice that one's in scene two and one's in scene three for all of my Mount Cook footage, which is fine, but what happens if I want to have a more complex search or I want to have this search be reused from time to time? That's what this icon does here. When I click it, it opens up a search filter. I want to search for all media that has the word Cook in it, or I want to search for all media that has the word Lake in it. Wait a minute, it says there's no items that, well, I've seen there's a Lake Takapo footage and there's Mount Cook footage, and the reason I can't see it is because this is set to all. What all means is that I want to find all clips that contain both Cook and Lake. If I change the setting from all to any, now I see all clips that contain Cook or all clips that contain Lake. Now, this is a dynamic search. If I go to, say, scene one, let's just, um, let's save it. So we're going to click New Library Smart Collection. We're going to call this Cook and Lake. If I go down to scene one, and we'll just change the name here. Notice when I go back to Cook and Lake, it automatically added that Milford Sound clip. So this is a dynamic saved search. If I go here and change the name again, and I go off it and come back, notice that that Milford sound clip is no longer there. A smart collection is simply a saved search. That saved search can be applied to an event or it can be applied to the library. It cannot be applied to a group of events. It's either the entire library, which is, makes the most sense, or a specific event. Here I have a whole collection of beautiful underwater footage shot by Sue Hewitt. And I've labeled these as corals and bunches of other stuff. There's some lovely, lovely photographs. Well, let's say that I want to do a search here, but I want to do a search that's a bit more complex. So I'm going to go back up to the library. I can do this on the event. I'll do it on the event, but you can also do it in the library. Let's click here. I'm going to uncheck this first option because I don't want to use a text search. I want to search for keywords. And notice that one of the keywords has been applied to at least one of my clips is close-up. So I want to find all keywords that have close-up applied. And already it's done a search and found that. But notice I've got this red coral here. I also want to exclude all text that does not include red. And notice that if I just search for the close-up keyword, I see all the close-ups. Here, I don't want it to include anything that includes the word red. And I don't want, let's see, a text. I don't want it to include anything that includes the color orange. And notice that the color orange is now gone. I can then save that as a smart collection. And notice it's been saved in the stills folder. And I could say corals without color. And I double click it. 
and I open it up. I don't want this, so I'm just going to delete that. And notice that all the orange is back. And if I decide I want to delete this, I can right mouse click or control click on it and delete the smart collection, and the entire save search is gone. Smart collections are a dynamic way to help you find the media that you want, regardless of what event it's stored in. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 360. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.